All right, what's up guys? Today I wanna to talk about how to create a Klaviyo flow for a pre-order list. So if you have a pre-order and you wanna create a flow uh, based off of people signing up, you know, showing interest in you know product A, product B, product C, whatever, this is gonna show you exactly how to do this. So uh, I'm gonna show you the article that I'm referencing. So it's called Flow for Pre-Order List within uh, Klaviyo's Help Center. And the person says, hey, I have a question regarding setting up a pre-order list for my upcoming product launch. I'm gonna be launching three new products soon. I wanna send an email to my existing customers, inviting them to register for the pre-sale subscription list so they can stay informed about the launch. I have three different products and I wanna give the customers the option to sign up for each product separately, and I want to keep these customers in different registration lists. My question is, is it possible to add a registration form in a Klaviyo email, or is there a better way to approach this? Thank you, Advance. So um, here's basically the answer. Uh, to add the registration form in a Klaviyo email, you need to create a new list for each of the three products that you'll be launching. So that's really option A is creating three different lists. Instead, what you can also do is create uh, different landing pages for each product and adding a registration um, form on the landing page itself. Um, that's gonna require you to, like in Shopify, create three different landing pages or uh, wherever your, your products are stored. And then you can link each landing page um, to a new list. So you create these, you're gonna create three separate lists and this uh, third option, you can create a single registration form, uh, which is what we're gonna be doing today with check boxes for each product, allowing customers to select which products they're interested in. Then you can use the segmentation functionality to separate customers into lists based on their product selection. So this is more what we're gonna do today, but um, it's more of the kind of, in my mind, the simplest solution and kind of the slickest solution. These three just involve creating three different lists with three different signup forms or a subscription um, pages, this is gonna be a single registration form. So we'll kind of dive into Klaviyo. I actually already have this set up, so I'll show you exactly how to do it. So if we go into lists and segments, what we can do is I have already created this, it's called the pre-order list. There's just a test email in there at the moment. So what you would do is you would go to here, create a list, and we're gonna call this, um, you know, pre, order list two, create list. And then here there's a couple ways you can get people onto this list. So this is gonna be the list of people that are have at all, you know, any interest at all with your pre-ordered products. So uh, you can, number one, you can set up uh, forms. So if you wanna put it on a specific landing page, um, you can set up the form here, um, just like a regular pop-up. Or what you can do is you can actually set up a uh, you know a page like this where it's a subscribe and preferences page. So um, you can actually set up like um, it's just like a mini landing page in itself. So you can go here and you hit customize for your list, and then um, at this point you can go to the subscribe page and you can hit edit page right here. So I actually have an example of what this would look like that's already built out. So I'm going to go back to lists and segments and pre-order list right here. Again, same step, you're gonna to go to subscribe and preferences page, and then you're gonna to go to edit page. So I've actually already set this up. And so I have first name, email, phone number, you can put in whatever fields that you would like. And then which products do you want pre-orders, pre-order reminders for? So um, that's this, this right here. So whatever you wanna do here, you can have products ABC, you can see here that it's gonna change on the actual form. And then, so you have the label here, what shows on the form, and then the property is kind of what's in Klaviyo's backend. So you wanna make sure this is super clear, product one, product two, and product three. You don't wanna just make this super long, you wanna make it pretty short so that there's no errors anytime you're, you're setting that in the Klaviyo backend. So you could have the longer product name here, you know, longer product name here, and then product, you want this to be short. So in this case, whatever it is, um, you know, product one is gonna go right there. And how you do that is you would just go to add blocks and then you'd set up this multi checkbox and that's that's what this is. So awesome. And then you would just choose your profile property. You might have to create a new one, um, you know, pre-sale interested 
If you didn't have a profile property for this setup, you would just create a new one. So you would create pre-sale interested. I'm um, in this case, I already have it set up here, um, but it's, this is gonna be a property for each person, like which products are they particularly interested in? Awesome, all right, so now that, that your form is set up, you can just go hit publish right here, and then we can test this out. So uh, subscribe page via URL, you wanna copy URL, and then you can put it into your browser here and make sure that everything is set up as as normal. Uh, this is what you're actually gonna actually link in your email. So you'd have an email campaign, and then instead of linking back to your Shopify site or whatever, you would just put in put a link to here. So awesome. Um, all right, so we can put in you know test to test to uh, gmail.com. If you have this email address, I apologize. And then we could say we're interested in product one and product two. And then they hit subscribe and then boom, you've been subscribed. And then you can set up a Klaviyo flow in order to send it to them immediately. But this is what this is gonna look like. And of course you could customize this page as well. So going back here, we wanna set up the segments as well. So. Uh, if we go back to lists and segments, so we have the pre-order list, which is everyone in the list. As we can see, we have two people, two people in there at the moment. So we have our test email and then we have test two. So if we go back here, um, this is kind of our main list. One thing that I want to definitely mention is that if you go to settings, you're gonna want to turn single opt-in on. Um, that way, especially if you're doing test emails, they're not gonna get the, the double opt-in. It's gonna have them confirm their script, subscription with like a small little email. Um, so I recommend turning single opt-in on. It's normally gonna be set like this. So you need to hit single opt-in and hit save. Um, so that's in your pre-order list and then settings. Awesome, all right. So going back to lists and segments, you're gonna have your pre-order list, which is anyone who um, is interested at all within your products. And then if you look at this pre-sale interested products, it's gonna be a custom property for that person, pre-sale interested products, product one and product two. This is a Klaviyo list. So this is kind of how they how they denote it. So if we wanna actually look at, um, you know, how do we look at, how do we find people who are interested in product one and product two? So we can go to here, uh, create a new segment. Again, if you're going back to, to this, um, we're creating a, uh, using the segmentation functionality to separate customers into lists based on their product selections. So uh, we can go here and we can say, uh, you know, pers people interested in, interested in product two. And then we can say, um, in this case, can or cannot receive email marketing. So you wanna make sure it's just people who can receive email marketing and then properties about someone, go to here, interested, pre-sale interested pr products, and then you wanna do contains. So, uh, and then you just select here, product two. And you wanna make sure that this is you know, type list and contains uh, when you're dealing with lists within Klaviyo. So then you can hit create segment and of course, once this loads, you can actually just send an email to people who are only interested in product two. So if you go to campaigns, you can send a campaign to person to people who are only interested in this. Or what you can do is you can actually set up a flow. So what we do is go to flows here, and then you go to create flow, build your own, and then we'll say people in interested in product two, create manually. And then here, when someone joins that segment, so when someone is interested in product two or whatever it is, um, you know, if you wanna send, um, you know, when someone subscribes to a certain list or if they um, just subscribe to a segment, whatever it is, you can do that. So if you wanna do add it to segments, um, you can choose here, interested in product two, and then confirm and save. So when someone's interested in product two, you can add them to that segment and trigger it based off that. Um, keep in mind, if someone subscribes to product one and product two, they're gonna get both emails. So you wanna make sure to um, basically 
think about that and actually test it for yourself. So then you can just go and add an email here, set up the email and select your templates and whatever it is, you can kind of use your template and customize this however you want to. And then you would go here and then set it live. Pretty simple. Set this guy live and you're good to go. Um, so that's how that's it, how you would update it and set up that flow. Um, awesome. Let me know if you have any questions down below. Now, look, what I went through is a lot. Um, if you're running a DTC e-commerce brand, you probably don't want to be going and navigating through Klaviyo and trying to set all this up. Uh, that's what my company actually does on a daily basis. We exclusively work on Klaviyo email and SMS. So and if you don't want to try to implement everything by yourself and go through the trials and tribulations and setting up you know, Klaviyo flows and triggers and all that stuff, you can instead hire us to help you add revenue. So our recommendation is going to zhs-ecom.com to book a call so we can talk about a win-win partnership. Appreciate it.